Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. All right. James Brown once made a song called You Talking Loud But Ain't Saying That, and that apparently seems to be the case with Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn is still bumping his gums, thinking that they will control the whole course of a negotiation with a fight with Deontay Wilder, and they're not. Things have changed a lot, and I think Eddie Hearn has failed to realize that these are not the same anymore. Once this Fury fight is signed, sealed, and delivered, oh, when they go back to the negotiation table, it's going to be a whole bunch of different things that's going to have to get sorted out before Deontay Wilder should remotely consider stepping in the ring with Anthony Joshua. Because at the end of the day, nobody cares about Anthony Joshua and Alexander Povetkin. I think if it was on TV, it would have low ratings. It's going to be on the zone. Uh, nobody cares about this fight. The fight didn't sell out. So the proof is in the pudding. Eddie Hearn is still trying to just downgrade the fight with Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury for the sake of Anthony Joshua. And then Anthony Joshua was going around doing the woe with me and I'm a person, I have feelings, and nobody gives a fuck about that neither. You had a chance to make this fight, but you didn't want to offer Deontay Wilder a fair deal, a reasonable deal. And as I said before, now things have changed, and they will swing in Deontay Wilder's favor should he get past Tyson Fury. Based off how Charles Martin looked in his last fight, and that's an opponent that Anthony Joshua beat for a title, Anthony Joshua's stock went way down, and he doesn't want to accept it. And Eddie Hearn is telling all these media outlets that Deontay Wilder needs to hurry up, and make a fight with them, and, you know, time is running out. No, they're just trying to once again find a way to get out of fight Deontay Wilder. I really think they don't want to fight him. That's just my assessment of the whole situation. This should be a fight that they want to make very badly. But it doesn't appear that they really want to make this fight. They just throwing a lot of bullshit out there. And the only people that believe that is the people in the U.K., and I think to a certain degree, even they don't believe it anymore. You know, a lot of facts have been proven that Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua are the reason that the fight with Deontay Wilder hasn't happened. Whether people want to believe it or not. It's just been mountains of evidence to support that it's Team AJ that's prevented the fight. And I think they're going to find another way to get out of this fight. You know. So, the bottom line is, Eddie Hearn is continuing to talk to the media and just spread a bunch of bullshit. That people should know by now isn't the truth. Eddie Hearn has been caught in lies. And he will continue to lie. They not trying to fight Wilder. Not anytime soon, that is. And I wish people would see through Eddie Hearn's bullshit. I just wish the UK fans would just take their L and just, just move on. But they don't want to do it. Because they have this belief that Eddie Hearn is going all out to make that fight, and he really isn't. He's sitting up trying to give people deadlines and all that type of shit. Well... If you try to give them a deadline, it's because your your next fight is already put in, you know, put in place. But you just basically using Deontay Wilder's name to sell your next fight. With the hopes of people thinking that Deontay Wilder will be the next fight after the April fight. I mean, if Jarrell Miller called you a liar, that speaks a lot. That speaks values okay 
and what's going on. The only people that's in denial, like I said, is these heady Heron supporters. So, in the scheme of things, Eddie Heron is really going to have to come to his senses and he's really going to have to accept the fact that Deontay Wilder won up to him by attempting to make this Tyson Fury fight because once again, I'm, I'm skeptic about it because as I said before, it's just taking him so fucking long to announce this fight to where it's just getting on people's nerve and people are getting to the point to where they're ready to say, you know what, fuck it to this fight. Because it's just taking too long. I don't want to hear this shit. Be patient and shit. People got to understand. People got to make arrangements to get to this fight. And Deontay Wilder needs to understand that. Everybody just can't get up and go to Las Vegas and go watch him fight. People have to make preparations. And that's what I'm saying. I hope the message that got to Deontay Wilder about, hey, man, people getting restless, man, waiting for y'all to announce this fight. For real. What the fuck do you think you're doing? But anyway, enough of that. Eddie Hearn, over the last few months, how he's handled this situation has came out looking really bad. He's the one that's starting to look desperate. He's looking like he's reaching. He He's just trying to make up shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like he playing pin the tail on the donkey. He blindfolded and shit. And the poster of the donkey is like in another room. That's what I mean by he's reaching for something that's just not out there. And I just think it's to the point to where people just can't protect Eddie Hearn no more. Because people see the light. But anyway, man, let me move on to the next subject, man. I'm out.